How is it going, everyone? Ever and give me another sad episode with more of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch. Welcome to it. So last time, because we were able to finish on solving the um, the last of this uh, side quest for Patricia, because we were asked to go and follow the cuckold, so that it go lead to to the cuckold hideout where we go collect ten of those eggs. So it's somewhere where it take place back in Colorful Village, as you can see here. So uh, we're able to collect uh, some few of those uh, bird eggs, so that we start by making the food right out of them. But it, it turns out that um, I am quite full out of food resources right now, so I'll just stick to the one that I already made. So yeah, so yeah, well, well let's let's go ahead and explore the depth more. So we're here beneath here in the uh, the depth. So let's go on uh, right ahead and and take this uh, steering stick. Well, this is so I only got one of them, my steering stick left. So we should probably go stick around and take out one of those both mobs. Okay, so these were the... No, come on. Can you let me go to weapon selection? Thank you. Okay, so I want to finish using the Begoran sword. Alright, well, it's one of the greatest weapons yet to go use. So let's start freezing these guys to death. Okay, they need to stop missing my aim so much. So can they just please be still? Thank you. Alright, well, we'll leave that combo there. And we'll definitely leave that Zonite. So let's make sure we keep picking up our Zonite. Oh no! Don't start the vehicle. What 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 the heck is happening? Okay, so we got one of the flurry rush. Alright, so we're gonna beat up this Lazapos as a team. And let's just go use something else. So I uh, I recommend that we go use more of a soldier claymore. I mean, sure, why not? We can go use more of that. Okay, so how in the world are you taking forever? Alright, come on, let's all be a team here. This Luxalfo has gotta go. Okay, thank you. So, wait a minute, how is it gaining healing? Okay, so uh, I think it's healing a little bit. Well, I thought I saw we already took down a little bit of his AP bar. I right, go for it, Sidon. Go for it, you know, Bo. All right, that was it. So uh, now, what we looking at here? So it did drop a little bit of Zonites, and now we got here is a another Lizardful situation going on here. So I'll go pick this up and go and attack you with arrows. So that's one. That's one strike per second. So uh, let's see now. I, I still got here is one of my Hinots, the, the Hinots hammer which I still have. So we'll go use that to be up its ore and get the zona inside of it. Okay, so we did patch up at least 36. Alright, so we're going to take you down. So you're holding a dozen of zonites. Okay, so we'll keep picking up those up. So yeah, so this is why we, we gotta keep exploring the death more because uh, we, we are not gathered enough zonite because we, we waste so much zonite on everything. Alright, so we just gotta go and buy them all. Buy all of the zonites. Okay, so we did buy more of the other uh, large ones. Alright, so um, let's uh, let's stick around down at the depth. So I really wanted to go in and find out where this green trail take us. So we'll go and keep picking up more parts to it, and still keep taking main control of the vehicle. And that's alright. In case we run out, so we'll go use one of the little ones. But I don't want to keep wasting one of the large ones. I mean, I wanted to do the same one just in case I want to go back to the uh, dispenser and. Buy some more. Some, some. Oh, actually, as I was saying, I mean, we should go and drop it down to, to the yellow hole where we, we get more of those Zola devices. That I'm certain about. Okay, so moving on through here. Okay, so this this is this here is our new destination. So this one is trying to attack me. So we'll definitely go take it out with our uh, Hina's hammer, and we'll go get the zone light right out of you. And we do need to delight the place. So, no, 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 not fire fruits. That's squishing the fire fruit. 
Okay, so we do got a light up the place, so we gotta to create big heavy light. Alright, well let's go see. Alright, so we take main control of the vehicle. So we'll just stop it right about here. And go and check this place out. So we might probably go and fight another flux construct. Okay, so I just want to know what you new. Okay, so hold on. So this one is old, so we should probably go in and take it down. So we are fighting another flesh construct two. Oh actually no, that's the first one. So we are fighting a flesh construct one. So I'll go for the master sword. Okay, so the master sword is how we finish off the flesh construct one. So it's quicker but faster to finish it off. Okay, and it drops some few Zonite chart and a Zonite device. So we pick up here one of this rocket. Okay, and I really think that we should... I mean, we should probably go in and pick up the vehicle. So let's go back to the Ultra Hand. Okay, and those were the creatures that we, we couldn't be worried about right now. So let's just... Let's go rise up this vehicle and we'll go collect one of his bomb flower and then we'll take this vehicle again and we'll just go and steer it in the right direction. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that the vehicle can't work on 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 the harder surfaces. I mean, whatever bits of mechanic of the, the floor that we're looking at here can't operate the um, the, the vehicle. So uh, I recommend that we, we take it below down ground so that we, we keep on operating the vehicle as long as we like. Okay, hold on. So why is it so deep? Alright, so we go and light what's beneath it. Um, okay. Well, that was solid work. I mean, but they placing the deep, be deep below grounds or whatever it lies below. I mean, we couldn't possibly stick around to the knowing what what lies beneath it. So we'll just go ahead and drop the vehicle right about down at the center, and we'll we'll just go and take main control of it. So let's just journey through. Now we just want to know what further what's further ahead over on the other side. So we are coming across through through dark edges. So let's make sure that we, we go light the way. Okay, okay, it's much easier that way we can that we can look to see where we're we're headed. Okay, so let's uh pull up our zone charge. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll probably get it on to a, to his yellow bar. Oh, come on. Seriously, you call that driving, Link? You call that steering the vehicle like that? Come on. Are you serious? Can you buzz off? Okay, I can't stand with these macabre in my way. So, you know what? Let's just pick up the vehicle. I mean, I don't know what's attacking me, but uh, I mean, I can just uh, take the hit with the arrow is, in case something worse happened a little bit. Okay, so we pick up one of the bomb flowers, so let's take control and go figure out what we're doing. Okay, so we'll go stop the vehicle and we'll go back to Hina's hammer. Okay, so we did stock up at least 59. I mean, that's how much we're saving up. Alright, so we'll pick one bomb flower. Get more zonites. Alright, and then we'll we'll go back to our vehicle. The vehicle that we, we are which we, we have did create. So we we'll, we'll still we'll still go back to take the main control of it. And we'll definitely be picking up one of the push room. All right, so what? Well, so what we can do now? Because I mean, it works much faster, but that way we don't have to, to go on foot 
and knowing what what sort of mystery we might find around here in this whole depth. So we should probably go and pull up our giant bright blue sea so that we we go light up away. Yeah, so we still gotta keep creating big light. Okay, so how many batteries do I have left? Alright, well, all the guy here is 16. So, you know, let's take at least three. So, let's start by... No, not pick up the vehicle, the battery. So, yeah, so let's just place the other uh, battery in a neat stack where it's glue. So, that way we, we, we don't go in and blow up somebody's zone I charge. Alright, so we're taking the main control of the vehicle. So we'll go and dry elsewhere, everywhere we go. And we should probably go and light up the way. So let's try fate throwing uh, a weapon by throwing this giant bright blue seed. And just to take a look at where we are. So let's stop the vehicle. And go see what's up. Okay, so there, there, so there were going to be some monsters. So we'll probably take it down with uh, with bomb flowers. All right, so let's start attacking one. Okay, you know what? It's I think it's best we go use the magic sword. That works much faster. Okay, but you know what? I think it's time to eat. So um, what 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 sort of food do we got? Okay, but you know, we can eat more of the sunny, meaty rice balls. Okay, so let's go ahead and restore, what, just one? That's it? I thought we'll restore more, but, um, okay, fine. Okay, well, I did learn something new, so I just go for the s slash there. Well, that's a, a pretty new basic that Link go performing. All right, very good to, to see Link. Okay, so somebody, to, someone is shooting from above. So, uh, okay, now that's a macabre I'm looking at. Yeah, well, you just uh, suck shooting, so you just get eliminated. Okay, please miss. Okay, so I do need to go up there, up that ladder, and take you down, one way or another. Okay, so you did just a few parts. So we'll still keep picking up more arrows. And, uh, and another one. Alright, so we did less than a few zonites, which we should, we should definitely stick around to pick some of them up. So open up the chest. So we get here fire of the giant bright blue sea now. Alright, well, that's a more than a lot that we can experience. And let's uh, double check the place out. So. Yeah, well, there's nothing, go there's nothing hidden underneath. Okay, so pretty sure that was about it. So we did look, whatever it lies ahead, we, we did pick up enough zonites. So now, we can take main control of the vehicle by steering at it with the, the main control. I am. Um, we'll definitely go in in faith throw again. So uh, we do need to create big light and any other resources. Okay, so one of this uh, battery is draining low. All right, so we keep lighting the way. So uh, we we just wanted to know where we need to go. But I get the feeling we are going in the wrong direction, so uh, we do gotta fo follow that green light. Okay, so let's turn the vehicle around, and I do need to, to pick up some more bomb flowers for my travels. Yeah, well, I I always keep I, I keep a low proportion on my bomb flowers, so I should keep at least a more wet that I can experience. Okay, so let's go in and check what's around this corner. Okay, well, there was going to be a blockade there. Yeah, well, one of the, one of my batteries are draining low fast.
Okay, so we, we'll, we'll keep the Duty Colbert in a nice and steady way. Okay, so there's something there's something blocking from above. So yeah, you know, let's just get out the vehicle. I think it's best that we go on foot right now. Alright, so let's start by climbing up this tree and see where it leads to. So everything here is blocking. Now I just want to know what's up there. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's finish off this Hina's hammer. So this Hina's hammer is no more. So it already got broken. Okay, so uh, what appears to be up there? So can we up some that? Okay, no, I don't. I don't think we can. Well, we, we could just stick to using camera just in case. Okay, so I do want to know what's what's over there. Okay, well, let me try doing this uh, long split for you guys. Well, I wanted to, to go follow where that green light is that I pinned it. I want to see what's new there, so uh, I will see you in just a minute. Okay, now looking over on the other side, so we're at the groove of time is where we are. So that's a, a brand new location we're able to find here. So hold on, now what is that creature? Oh, that's, um, what's it called? The, the Ever Mean? Well, yeah, Ever Mean, Ever Are, bit different. I mean, that's a part of my name. <laughs> okay, so let's go cut down the tree. And also, there was going to be another one. We got another one incoming. Okay, so we did drop a, a Zonai, so uh, we do need to look out for that. Alright, so we cut down the, the last tree, which is over... Which is right in front of us. Okay, so we just keep cutting you down and slice. Okay, so the tree fall. And we go pick up a little bit of Zonai. Alright, well, let's go and approach the, the light route if we get a chance. And also, let's make sure that we, we keep light in the way. That way we can see everything. Okay, so there was going to be a traveler. Well, there's one of the travelers that made it through here in the depths. Okay, so he's saying something about that light. Good, you startled me. Wait, what's someone else doing here? Ooh, you must be reinforced for investigating the tree. Okay, investigating the tree, you say. What? Was I wrong? I thought for sure that you were here to help investigate this humongous tree. I mean, just to take a look. You see the tree glowing, coil-looking thing? Oh. And somehow that light is capable of restoring the vitality it lost to gloom. Or some rumor goes anyway. I'm here to find out if that's true. Oh. Uh, but you know, that's not my only mission down here. I've been asked to approach to be an eliminator, but you can claim the greatest for you. Okay, yeah, now I, I knew you were going to be a, a Yuka clan all along. Okay, so now this this villager is a scam. Alright, so we go in and pull up a mic. And go take down that Yuka clan as a team. Alright, so you get the splash, you go vanish out of here. And we'll go pick up some more stuff and move on. Okay, so that's uh, one of the Yuka clan we, we won't be messing with right now. So, approaching this light route is what the fake guy was asking. So, we go and skip this. So, this just comes to show. So, we are revealing more secrets. Whatever it lies ahead in this darkness. So, we just go and reveal a, a new area. And get some more heart restored back to our, back to our empty spot. Okay. So, let's start off by eating. Okay, so we can eat everything what's on the, what's on the, the chart. Okay, so we got here the hearty meat and seafood fry. And that go and restore four of the gold hearts. Alright, now, now it's not the time to climb in. So, let's start climbing and move on. Okay, so, looking to see where we are. So, we did activate another light room. So, we were supposed to continue moving below down this section of that spot. 
because we, we gotta go and check in with this uh, this green area or what, whatever it lies ahead in this darkness. We just go through it. But actually, there's another way of getting down there to this uh, green light. So as we go and approach, it's uh, Takaruk Shrine. The, the Takaruk? The Takaruk Shrine. That's how I say it. Okay, so we should go and work there and go and see if we have already did place a, a green pin right next to this spot because I wanted to to check this um this next spot. Alright, so looking to see where we are, so uh, we should probably go and follow where that green light is show. I mean we should probably go and fight another of this uh what the creature called. Oh, so that's the Marble Goma. So that take place somewhere back in the, the 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 Death Mountains. I mean that that the um the, the mission that we saw for Yonobo a while back because that's our uh, fourth boss that we were able to encounter. So I mean we should probably go and take it out again. So it's one of the mini boss but which we did already encounter. Alright, so we'll go take it out with oh wait a minute, watch out. What is it doing? Okay, so we do need Yunobo for this. Uh, Yunobo, where you at? Yunobo, stop wandering, stop wandering off. Okay, I, I get the feeling that we gotta go hit both fins, or actually, let's just take it down with fire fruit. Well, I need to attack your eye spot. All right, let's go again. Okay, so how did it explode that fast? What the heck? All right, come on, let's let's go again. Okay, so, so what if it's a boss pattern? So we just take this Yunobo ball and just hit it out of here? Okay, but I, I thought it can be put in good use for, in case you know, in case we, we use it to, to attack it like it's some projectile. And that sort of mechanic. So, you know, I think we gotta go get the legs. Hopefully, he'll come down. Yeah, let's go see. Uh, Riju, now it's not the time for you. Okay, but you know what? Okay, Riju. It will do. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, can I get up to you? You know what? I can upsend that. I, I need to attack your, your weak point. Okay, so I can't upsend that. So I gotta keep breaking down, breaking your legs, your spider legs. All right, so we keep hitting the part of his legs, and then we go suck up. So let me check on him because I get the feeling that my mat the sword did did took low damage, so it didn't come back up yet. So we're just gonna have to stick to using whatever weapon that we're good at. So no, I did the fuse here at the Soldier 4 Blade, so let's go use more of that. Oh, come on. Well, actually, let's put on our... Yes, you know, we got here at the few de deity, deity sword. The deity armor, not sword. The few deity armor is what we still have. So we'll go ahead and put on everything. Yeah, so I still gotta keep taking out your weak spot. Okay, so it refused not to to not let up. So our best goal here is that we wait for your noble stimuli to replenish. While well, that's taken care of, so we can still keep attacking the lead spot. And then keep attacking it. Okay, so we're just only attacking the ice spot. So let's just do it for for more damage. Okay, so now I got a second phase incoming. So we are attacking the, the darkness of his eyeball. Okay, so it got him really mad. Okay, so now I'm gonna do his mega stomp. So now the only way to the break out is to use your noble rollout ability. 
Oh, okay. And the best way to do this is that we, we go set up your noble to attack the legs. Okay, so we go wait for the next. Okay, you know, but I'm right behind you. Okay, so we go through here. Okay, you know, but stop disappearing to me. Okay, so what's going on with the Magmatic Sword? So we should just go use the Magmatic Sword to finish off the Marble Gromo faster instead of using the, the Soldier Four Blade. Okay, so the Master Sword got restored, alright. Well, that was gonna be a, a perfect timing, but it was a little too soon because we actually did defeat the, the Marvel Goma. And there it is. So here's our reward. So let's go and approach to it. Alright, so as we go and approach the, with the treasure. So see what we get inside, so it had to be good. Okay, so we get here, it's huge crystallite shards, so that's gonna give us 100. Okay, so a complete crystal made up by a condensing zonite charger possessed by, from zonites. Okay, so I don't suppose we, we we figure to find out if the, the, the crystallite is gonna make the zonite right out of it. I had to go in and do a bit more research on that to see if the, the crystallite can actually make zonite parts right out of it. I'm not 100% sure yet. So uh, yeah, now let's look at the moving beneath here. So we, we do got to approach to to what I placed the, the green pin that. I mean, we want to stick around to to the scene what lies on the other side. I mean, we just go and approach. No, 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 not not shield. I meant materials. Okay, no, let's uh, not pull up a bow and arrow and start shooting stuff. Well, actually, you know what? No, let's 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 go back to to this. So we do got to light this way. All right, so we do got to look to see where we're going. So we did pick up here one bomb flower only, and we'll go keep lighting the way. Alright, and what we just found a witness, so they, they did let some, some pose. So we'll put some of them up. And going through here, so let's just go and lead to, to dark areas. So come on. Dry breath we see, not shields. Okay, so we're looking at all of this uh, chasm mess going on everywhere. That's something I wasn't expecting to see. And that should have reason. Anyway, uh, we can still keep on pushing upward onto the uh, onto the surface. Alright, so we'll go uprising. Yeah, because um, I can see it would be mechanics. I mean, there's just a lot to take in in this uh, with depths. Because uh, it seems like that, that we are making good progress over here, uh, saving up to, to experience on increasing the more zonites. So uh, let's go back to to dry bright blue seed and go light the way. So the royal bow is almost taking badly damage. So we'll just keep lighting up everything. I mean everything that we go light up surround the uh, the darkness. Alright, so approaching to this. So uh, we should probably go and wait one of the silver mobbling hammers. So I, I knew that's, um, that's almost taking damage. Alright, and we got here these uh, keys covered in, in chasms. Okay, now what's going on here? Okay, so now that over there is the problem. So that's a stone talus I'm looking at there. And that I can I saw in the background, so there was going to be another light route. And it's so far away. Okay, so we should definitely go and approach to that. Okay, well, it seems to me that we got a long way of, of reaching further to the other side of that light route. 
Okay, so now what we got going on here? Okay, so now we got here is some more build parts. Okay, so you know what? Sure. Now let's go ahead and it's, hold on, no, let's not ascend. Let's go and pull up our ultra head and let's start by building some parts. Okay, so we got here is this sledge. So there was gonna be a plane that we can place it. So we we can start placing it right, right about here. So we got the steering stick. All right, so that will go neatly. And two of those low battery proportions, so we'll we'll place some of them there. So there's only two of them. Okay, so we go placing two of our batteries. And yeah, well, I do got, I, st I still had the fan on me, so uh, let's drop one fan. And we'll go place it, we'll place one right up the center. And let's see how this works. So, can we take off? Okay, but we still can't take off. What the heck? There's no, how about we do this? But can we, like, separate these two one after another? Well, it's worth a shot. Well, let's go find out. Okay, so we sit it still like this. I mean, we figure what's going to happen next. Okay, so can we... Oh, actually, I think they, they did left uh, one, two of those that fan above the shelf. Okay, so come on, can I get back to the plane so that I can, I can take off? Okay, thank you. Okay, so how are we doing this? You know what? Forget it. I, I don't want to keep flying the thing. Well, we're just gonna have to move on. I right, well, we can just get there on foot. I mean, building these vehicles sucks. I mean, whenever we go and whenever we start by building a, a plane, it, it doesn't take, it doesn't ascend, it doesn't take off on its own. Okay, so I don't have a bow, so I do need to get another. So I, I still got another royal bow on me. I can still keep using more of that. And let's make sure we, we light up the place. Okay, well that's the only way we came here to do for. I mean, we just gotta keep lighting up certain areas. Alright, now, approaching this uh, light route. So we're here now, so this here is the Karom Light Route, somewhere in the Lanieru Wetland Depths. So we're gonna skip this. Okay, so that just go do light up the way. So let's just go ahead and surround every area. Everywhere around between. Okay, so this here is our new destination. So we got here is a lot of east side of direction to the light up east places. So uh, let's go ahead and and move further down here. So there was going to be another light route over on the other side. So we should probably go and check that area out if we get a chance. All right, so um, let's let's journey on in. I and we're still waiting for uh, for Tulin to to give me another boost. Alright, and uh, what I'm looking at here, oh, actually, yeah, well, so this, um, this strange, mysterious warrior did left us something, something that we can, that we can keep. Okay, so what is this? Is that new? That's supposed to be new. Hold on, hold on, that's a new one. So that's a soldier spear. Okay, so we'll, de we'll definitely save that album and go pick that up. So it says that long spirit are once used by the guard of Hyrule Castle, easy to use but difficult to master, and it will quicker charge the task. Okay, but then that grants you up more but the but seven? Okay, so now we can see double arrow that that in, that recommend that, that tells you that you can attack way more quicker. Okay, it's a it's a faster rate to the C the the long spear go in 
and, and poke much quicker out of it. I mean, it, it just go in and quickly poke enemy a lot quicker, I could imagine. Okay, so let's go uprise up here. If I do weapon... Okay, let's let's see. So that's a, another 8 4 blade. Okay, well, this one is special. So we should definitely go and take one of that and move on. And let's make sure that we get the giant bright blue seat out. Because we, we still gotta keep creating big light everywhere. Okay, so looking to see what's uh, underneath the depths. This whole depth, I mean. Okay, so we're, so we're nearly here. So we're at the, the right place. We're nearly at the right place. Okay, so we're going to drop that below down on the floor. Okay, so now we got here is still more options to choose. Okay, so you know what? Let's make sure that we, we get one of this cart going. So I only got two on my cart. So we'll just sit it still. And no, um, how did I keep pressing the wrong button? It was, you press and hold the L button and select whatever options you want. I right, come on out. Okay, so we'll set this card there. Okay, you know what? Can, can we get some space here, please? We need space. Alright, so we'll go grab this fan. And set it right about... Right about there. Yeah, that should work. And we'll set these two low batteries right next to this plane. Oh, actually, if we use those uh, rockets, what would happen? Uh, no! Stop telling me the silver marble hammer is taking badly damage. I'm not ready. To, I'm not ready to use that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we we faced the rocket right about. Right around this corner. Okay, so we just wanted to, to have that attack to the plane. And I do believe the, the last one was uh, way above the, um, the the first top of that shelf. So we go ahead and set that still. Where we start attaching to it. And I think that's it. Okay, so how do we do this? So uh, we, we gotta keep, we gotta move everything here. This is, well, it felt uncomfortable, but I mean, we don't need this, um, this hot air balloon piece there. So, uh, okay, now they did left one of the steering stick there, so we should definitely go grab one and start attaching to this plane right here. Yeah, that'll work. So we do gotta place this uh, pin just uh, right about that, this corner so that we, we know where, where we're going. Yeah, that'll work. So one of the... Okay, so I think you, you attach both the booster so it, it it go in and... So it it felt to me because it's just uh, giving you a boost. So somehow you just, you just go in... So it's just going frustrated so that way it can, it can go rocket launch. So at the, the abandoned car called mine. Okay, well that's a new one. Okay, so we take the uh, the landing approach. So figure out where we already are. So this here is brand new to us. So uh, approaching the treasure chest. So we go and open this. So what we get inside? Another large crystallite charge. All right, well let's keep them coming. So reading this journal, okay, let's read this journal. Strange rock piles that have been seen all over this area. Cl climbing them is a challenging but not impossible. The origin is mysterious. Were they made by settlers long ago? Are there the remains of both a monstrous beast? 
We do know they have one feature in common, a weapon floater at the top of each one. We don't know why or how, but it's a pretty creepy. Weirder yet, both the weapons have a sort of a gleamer to them. Maybe next time I see one, I'll climb up to get a better look. Glory to Matakoga. Okay, so um, collecting these uh, mighty bananas, so we'll definitely collect... Well, we are picking up some of them up. Okay, and there was a, a strange traveler there, so uh, we should definitely go and chit chat with this researcher guy. Hmm, how am I supposed to activate this construct? Oh. I've been examining this construct for so long, but I just uh, can't seem to get it working. Cease. Well, given that that you show up and down here, it can't hurt to ask. Do you know how to activate construct? I do know. Uh -huh. You do? I thought a famous hero like you might. In fact, I, I was sure of it. First of all, I'll rough you up a little bit. I'll find a way to make you talk. Okay, well, I knew you were going to be a scam again. Okay, so there, there were going to be two Yuka clan in disguise. But you know, the guy here is 8 4 blade, so let's see how that do. Okay, wait, there are two of them now? Are there actually two Yuka clans? Okay, so they did drop a, a red ruby there. Okay, so there's uh, one of the Yuka clan with the, the plus bow. Wait, is there another one somewhere? Oh wait, there's a third? There's a third Yuka clan? Nah, nah, right back at you, pal. Right back at you. Okay, so we'll, we'll go pick up one of these poles up, and they did left a, a trademark vehicle there. I mean, we should definitely keep in hold just in case, in, in case we escape the, the abandoned mines. So yeah, so where we left off here, so we're in, we're, we're here now beneath here in, in the abandoned color called mines. So we go and place our, our right hand there. Okay, so that just goes to show, so we go and verify it. Welcome, there was a once a busy uh, refinery where a great deal of zonites was processed. My task here is to demand a design for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a gamma stone that you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Okay, so we get here is another gamma stone. Okay, so what do we get here? A lunch pad? Oh, dang, that's a new one. I will also prepare for the part required to test it it's via automobile. Okay, well, you go do that. I hope that the Skimmer Stone I have provided is useful to you. Okay, so pick up this arrow, so uh, we'll, we'll keep one for later. And as we go in, check what's, what's above at the surface. So we go upright. So they left one of its uh, Zonite there. So we, we are collecting here is 109. 110. Okay, well, that's a lot of zone like we're, we're we're keeping up. We're, we're keeping to save. Okay, so that go give us five of the pods. Okay, so we're looking at here because the bees are large po. We're looking at there. Okay, so we go pick some of them up. Okay, so so now what's up here? What's up at the surface? Okay, so that, that still gives us more than five. Okay, so let's uh, keep lighting up every corner. Now we just want to know what else is here. Alright, well... Well, that's all we can see here and the, the abandoned mines. It's in fact we have not stick around to find where the, the light the next light route is so now we, we do gotta keep an eye out for that. Alright well we, we got another we we, we are able to learn a, a new skimmer trick. I mean we, we were able to 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 use the line pad in case we wanted to go in and upright further heights. Then we just go in auto build one and just go use the lunch pad. 
All right, so uh, let's just hold on. So um, let's just go on. We we just set you free. I mean, we don't care what you're talking about. So you know what? Yeah, well, let's just say goodbye to you. Now, I really do think that we should buy some more of the of the large zone I charge. Okay, so that only costs large zonites. Okay, so we make that exception. And I think we're we have good now. So just take a look at what I got here. I only got 14 of the large zone I charge, which I still have. Okay then. So you know what you guys I think that's what it's about it. So we did we did explore the abandoned colorful mines. We we did seek out to to know whatever what other places we need, we had to, to go. So I believe next time on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we'll, we'll probably go stick around and yeah. Well, there's no point. <laughs> well, there's no point of embarrassment there. Well, I able to to the jump over the, the splinter and now I just got hit by one. But that's about it. So next time, well, we'll probably go right ahead and stick around to to see what else is new. Well, I actually I did saw up there because there is a, a treasure chest from, from above these uh, edges. I mean, that's that's new. But well, that's a, a new angle that I'm able to, to see what lies on the other side. I mean, we are finding more of the chest to chest. So we'll, we'll probably go ahead and uh, keep on staying a while and explore many other new places around here. Whatever it comes around between those two. I mean, we, we do got to stick around and complete this area. And once we're, we're done looking at what else is beneath it. So we'll probably take a break from, from here, from there. I mean... It's, it's best for luck that we take a break uh, going beneath the other uh, depth and go and uprising back up to the surface. So there are still more of the sky temples that we have uh, not recently explored. Because uh, I, I get the feeling that we do got to to use more of this uh, large zone I charge to, to buy, to the purchase or or place the, um, the, the, the zone I charge beneath the, the dispenser, but so that way we can stock up more zone devices. But if that's something we can stick around to doing more things later, uh, happen on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you'll be particularly stay tuned on the next series. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watch this episode. So if you're enjoying the series, you want to see more of the lessons of the tears of a kingdom, be sure to leave an advertisement, like, share the video, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up there and notified when my news and awesome videos have other way. So that's gonna be gonna be all it for tears of a kingdom. We will be picking more on the next one. So take care, guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.